One of the biggest challenges I have as a home cook is prep. Sometimes I just want to get something on the table because I'm hungry. We just came home from work. Um, it's the weekend. We want to relax. And the thought of doing a lot of prep isn't too attractive to me. So anytime something comes along to try to make that easier for me, I'm on the bandwagon for that, right? I want to take a look at that. So the nice people at Rapid Slicer sent me this little slicer to cut cherry tomatoes, olives, grapes, even butterflying chicken with this. And I thought it was really interesting because I've had a lot of questions from people about butterflying chickens from some of our other videos. And I want to see how this baby works with that. So join me as we do a test and review of the Rapid Slicer. So I'm excited about trying this out. The nice people at Rapid Slicer sent me this and I just want to take this opportunity to thank them. I love testing out gadgets. And this is definitely a gadget that when I first saw it, I was like, oh, I want to try that, right? It looks absolutely fantastic. So one of the things I noticed about the Rapid Slicer from the very beginning is this. You see this at the top? Made in America. I absolutely love products that are made in the USA from small companies trying to get ahead and that can bring us something and that's convenient for us. So I am really, really excited about that fact. What else is interesting about this is it's dishwasher safe and it's also BPA free. A lot of people are concerned about BPA in plastics. It can give off really funky uh, fumes and chemicals that it's just great that it's free of BPA. So what the Rapid Slicer does is it allows you to safely and easily slice cherry tomatoes, grapes, olives, small fruit, and vegetables in seconds. So the base of the Rapid Slicer has non-slip feet that grip the countertop to keep it stable. It has a lock-in-place lid that allows you for convenient storage. And it's FDA approved, BPA free. And how this works is you're going to take your small fruit or vegetables or even chicken, such as olives, tomatoes, grapes. You're going to put them in the base. You're going to put the top on. You're going to hold the top so it is safe for your fingers. We're going to use a knife that's like eight, 10 inches long. So it's long enough to reach across this and we're going to slice them into these beauties, right? So I can't wait to put this baby to the test. We're going to wash this bad boy up. We're going to get some tomatoes. We're going to get some olives and we're going to get some chicken and we're going to slice it. So let's get this out of the package. And I'm actually going to keep this part because it just sort of gives you a diagram of how to use it. And here is our rapid slicer. So it does have these non-slip feet on it. So when you put it down, look at that, doesn't move for safety. So we're going to remove this. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our tomatoes in here. We're going to put this on top of the tomatoes and then we're going to slice it this way with our knife. So see how we can slice grapes in half for chicken salad, tomatoes in half. We are going to actually make a chili mac out of those tomatoes. We can slice our chicken into little cutlets. Chicken has a tendency to be thick on one side and thin on the other side. So we're going to cut our chicken in half because we're going to be making some grilled chicken sandwiches out of it. And the whole chicken breasts are too big to fit on our bun. So we're going to cut it in half and then we're going to rapid slice it, right? Make them nice and thin, great on the grill, cook up real fast and really tasty. First up, we have a can of olives and Eric loves olives. He wants olives on everything. So let's see, we're going to take our rapid slicer and let's see how many we can get in here. This is a whole can. 
of olives. These are colossals, baby. Colossal olives. So you guys know if we wanted to slice these babies in half, we would have to go one by one, right? Watch this. We're going to put this baby on here. We're going to put our knife here. We're going to sort of put it on the edge. I'm putting it near the top of the base and let's wrap it slice. Sweet. Wow, look at that. Our olives are all cut in half. Awesome! I love it. Mmm. So look at how fast we did almost a whole can of olives in one slice. And buying olives whole instead of buying them already sliced, they're cheaper. The rapid slice cut every single olive in one swoop. Mm, that was awesome. Rapid slicer, thumbs up on olives. Thief! 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 You didn't say this. <laughs> hey, you stole mine. Mmm. Uh huh. I'm just gonna cut the rest of these. I probably could have put them both down at once. Um, but I want to play with this, right? Wow. Rapid sliced. Definitely thumbs up. Rapid slicer, part two. We have cherry tomatoes. I love using these tomatoes. I put them in spaghetti sauce. I put them on pizza. I put them in salads. I put them on sandwiches. I, these are basically all-purpose tomatoes. Um, we're gonna do a chili mac, and the first time I made my chili mac, Eric said there wasn't enough tomato in it. So we're gonna cut these and we're gonna use these in the chili mac, so stay tuned for that. So we got the rabbit slicer. <laughs> we got some tomato, put the lid on. And let's wrap it slice. Sweet, look at that. They're all cut. <laughs> I love it. This thing is awesome. You know how much time it takes to sit here and individually slice and slice and slice. It's a major pain, right? So we're going to, let's do another little round of rapid slicing. I probably could have put all these tomatoes in here at once, but I was a little gun shy, right? Okay, rapid slicer. Let's rock and roll. Sweet. Awesome, look at that. Rapid sliced. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and crisp and fresh. So, look at our tomatoes here. They're all that quick. Cut. Rapid slicer, you are awesome. So, now it is the ultimate test. We are going to rapid slice some chicken. <laughs> and you guys know, chicken is basically what I eat most of the time. Eric kind of gets irritating because he's always like, you're making chicken again? It's all good though. So I have some boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I've washed them, trimmed them, and I've actually cut them in half because we're gonna use them on some kind of small size rolls. So we're gonna grill them and all that fun jazz. So let's put our first piece of chicken in the rapid slicer. We're gonna put this on, and we're going to rapid slice. Awesome, look at that. Two pieces of chicken. <laughs> so let's rapid slice again. 
you gotta put some pressure on this bad boy because chicken moves around. And look at that, two pieces of chicken. Chicken, chicken, fast and rapid, right? So I say with chicken breast, rapid slicer, thumbs way up. So I really like the rapid slicer. I think it did a great job. When we put the olives on there and the tomatoes, we just put a whole bunch on there, and whoosh, right? Cut them straight away. And you would have to spend a lot of time cutting those individually. Um, I think it did a great job with the chicken breast. Probably would help a little bit to put it in the freezer slightly so it's not so squishy in there. But I think it did a great job, particularly if you're not great with a knife. You want the protection that the rapid slicer gives you. And um, you're not good at thinly slicing, butterflying, whatever you want to say. I think it did a fabulous job. Um, thank you, Rapid Slicer, for sending me this. I'm looking forward to using this in the kitchen. I think I'm going to cut some grapes with it and put it in some chicken salad. It's going to be absolutely delicious. If you want to take a look at the Rapid Slicer, I'll put a link in the description um, so you can take a look at it for yourself. Again, thank you, Rapid Slicer. I think this is a fabulous little gadget. If you like this video, please subscribe below and don't forget to hit the bell and turn on notifications so you learn of our new uploads. Also, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest at Amy Learns to Cook, as well as on my website at www.amylearnstocook.com.